Consider the increase in volume of the cylinder shown below if the radius increases by 0.01 cm and the height by 0.02 cm. It's a cylinder and therefore the volume is given by pi r squared h. And remember, our formula is that delta v is going to be dv dr delta r plus dv dr delta h. Sorry, that one would be dv dh. Okay, so what is dv dr? And the pi and the h would be constants, so that's going to be 2 pi r h. And what about dv dh? Well, that's just going to be pi r squared. So what we're saying by the increments formula is that delta v is going to be 2 pi r h delta r plus pi r squared delta h. So let's start by looking at the true volume when this is 8 and this is 15. Let's call that v815. So that's just going to be pi times 8 squared times 15. I've already calculated that. It's 3015.5. 928947, giving that to 60p. What about the true increased volume, which is 8.01 and 15.02? So that's going to be pi times 8.01 squared times 15.02. I've also calculated that. It's 3027.50478. And that was all my calculator gave me, unfortunately. And it's to a different number of decimal places, but it doesn't matter, we'll get the point. Now, we've already done our increments formula here. So let's do the estimated increase of volume using the increments formula. So that's going to be 2 times pi times 8 times 15 times 0 0.01 plus pi times 8 squared times 0 0.02. And I've calculated that as 11.56106 cubic centimeters and that means that if we do v plus the delta v we get 3027.490008 and we can compare the true figure here with the estimate using calculus. Now if we do the percentage difference there and we do 3027.50478, take away 3027.490008. We need to divide that by the true figure, which is the 3027.50478, multiply by 100 to change it into a percentage. We find that that is 0 0.00049 percent.